Hello, everybody. This is the sixth in a series of messages we're calling After God's Heart. We've been looking at the life of David. David's called a man after God's heart. We're kind of looking into why he's called that and uh, how can we become people after God's own heart. And uh, this message is called Quick Trigger Anger. I don't know about you, but I'm a type A personality. I plan my days pretty carefully. And uh, if I hit a snag, something goes wrong, and I, get, I have to wait, it, I realize I'm only a step away from being angry. And uh, so I have to really watch myself. Apparently, David had a problem with anger. Probably wouldn't know it so far in this series of messages. But uh, in 1 Samuel 25, we, we learn this. So if you have a Bible, turn to 1 Samuel 25. And I just want to tell you a little bit about the story there. So David is on the run from Saul. Saul's trying to kill him. David's to be the next king. Uh, Saul is jealous. David's loved by the people. Saul's not. Uh, Jonathan, his son, loves him. That makes him jealous. And he wants to kill David. So he's chasing him all around. David's mostly around the Dead Sea in the desert. Terrible place. Going from cave to cave, place to place. And uh, he comes to a place uh, in this Dead Sea desert area called Maon. And uh, his men are there, and he's next to a man who's a very wealthy man named Nabal. And for a period of months, he protects uh, Nabal's shepherds from disaster. Caravans would come through, uh, marauders, and when it was sheep shearing time, David sent 10 of his men down to say, may God bless you. Um, Hey, we've been kind of protecting you all these years, so if you can spare something, it would be greatly appreciated. Well, Nabal, his name means fool in Hebrew, uh, responded like, who's David? A lot of people have broken away from their masters, like David had broken away from Saul, and why should I share my meat with uh, somebody I don't really even know? So he snubbed the men. So they came back and told him the story, and David was angry. He said, slap on your sword. So 400 out of his 600 men got on their horses and uh, came after Nabal. Uh, He was really ticked. And he says, by tomorrow morning, if any of them are still alive, uh, you know, there's just no way. Well, then Nabal's wife, Abigail, who's beautiful and uh, very smart, she hears about all this and intervenes, and she comes and meets David and say, hey, don't do this. She gave him all this food, and she says, my husband's a fool, and uh, you don't want to have bloodshed on your hands when you become the next king of Israel. Uh, unnecessary. Remember, you, you let Saul go. You didn't seek retaliation against him. Uh, do the same with Nabal. Uh, don't take vengeance into your own hand. Let God handle that. And so David calmed down. Um, so I want to ask you a question. Uh, have you had a moment like David when you were really angry and, uh, you were really ticked and, you know, maybe tell people, your partner, people in your group about that. All right, so what we want to do in the final minutes here is to talk about, okay, David avoided anger. What happened? How did he avoid what I call quick trigger anger? And uh, I hope to see you Sunday when uh, we unpack that and I have a few things to say.